Hello everyone, in this video I'd like to demonstrate a new feature I've created in Dungeon Architect and this is called the, the Dungeon Flow Editor. It allows you to define the flow of your dungeon layouts and you do this by defining graph grammars and this is a very powerful way of, uh, of designing very complex layouts with simple rules. So you start with the start rule, the S node and I have a high overview graph layout. So I start with the spawn room and I have a, I've specified a bunch of room clusters and uh, then the exit which is guarded by the boss room and the boss room is locked so you need to find a key which is uh, through another path here. You also have a treasure, treasure room which is guarded by a mini boss room and when I so when I hit play it would it would procedurally generate different graphs for me and Dungeon Architect would, cre would take these graphs and build the level out of it so as a designer it gives you a lot of control on uh, on the flow of your of your levels and you can create many different different themes like this depending on the difficulty or the or your game mode and build different types of levels so here is a level generated using the same graph. So it follows the same path. We have the spawn room. Uh, one of the path is if you want to reach the exit, we go through here and uh, the gate is locked, which leads to the boss room and the exit. But we can find the key from another path, which is from here. and. Uh, there is another path for the uh, for the mini boss. So uh, you can have many many different variations, but they would have the same layout. I mean, the same uh, same same type of layout. Uh, we can also go ahead. now. In this case, we have the the treasure room guarded by the mini boss. Let's go ahead and add a mini, mini boss before the key room as well. So we have to fight a mini boss before we can get the key. So here's the branch for the key. Let's so uh, this would be. preceded by a mini boss node so might be a way to build this now the key room also has a mini boss before it now so this gives you a lot of a uh, lot of power and as a designer I think you can do a lot of things with it you can create games uh, meteorvania type games this doesn't even have to be the lock key system doesn't even have to be with doors you, know, you can have a for example this could this could be a room that requires double jump and uh, to activate double jump maybe you need to go and find an item from the key room here that allows you to double jump so it, you can have different different variations you can even have three different pieces of keys that you need to assemble and then unlock it here all of that is possible with this graph grammar so uh, so here are the rules uh, and this is the execution graph this is something new I've added recently uh, it allows you to so you can drop in the rules and decide on the order in which the rules are run and how many times they're run so I run the start rule if I, if I disconnect this only the start rule would be run which is exactly the same as you're seeing here and then the next room is the next rule is the the grow rooms rule and what i do here is i expand the room graph into uh, into a bunch of rooms so the way production production rule works is you have a left hand side and if it finds a pattern on the left hand side it would go ahead and replace it with one of the three one of the right hand side graphs and they are selected depending on the weight that you specify here and the and the the random seed so in this case i'm growing the room cluster by adding a room next to it 
or by forking it and adding it over here which is why sometimes you see that it goes like this instead of adding it next to it and finally we're, we want to get rid of the uh, the room graph node so we just replace this with the room node so so we're running this two to three times you see we have a few rooms so if if i'm if i run this a few more times then if you do more replacements you'll see a bigger graph uh, right finally we're gonna get rid of this room graph node with the room node so we just have rooms now if you want a corridor between the rooms then I have created one more uh, one more rule that if it if it finds a pattern like this where it sees there are two rooms then it would insert a corridor node between them So this gives you a lot of power, a lot of flexibility, and uh, and you can do some very interesting stuff. This will also work with uh, this will also work with uh, 2D levels. Uh, and right now, cycles are supported by the by the framework over here, but they're not supported by the Snap Builder. So what I've done is I've uh, added teleporters in this example. So uh, for example, if you want to if you find out that this this boss door is locked you trace back and then find the key then you don't have to come all the way back you can just use a teleporter and then jump back to the location that you've already discovered so uh, games like dead cells for example they do something similar they don't support cycles but they use teleporters to jump around uh, locations other teleporters that have already been discovered uh, so that could be useful for now. I will add cycles in the future in the future release, but uh, in the next one next build we uh, will have it without cycles. So this allows you to have key value. Um, so this allows you to have a key door system, key lock system. And uh, yeah, I'll also be adding paper 2D support. So this should be working with that as well. So I'll have more info on this in the in the forums. Thanks for watching.